Hello everyone! I know I haven't posted in so long because I've been so busy with college applications. I was just so stressed. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my art portfolio. I was accepted at Parsons, USC, Pratt, Syracuse, SVA, SAIC, and more. The major that I applied under for most of these schools were fine arts and I chose fashion for Parsons. Most of the pieces I'm going to show you guys are conceptual pieces or like either like experimental and whatnot. I submitted like two or three observational drawings which is just like looking at the object and I just draw like from afar. And figure drawings is just like naked people. I don't think anyone would want to see that anyway. So most of these schools you will submit your art portfolio under slide room after you finish your common application. My first piece was a self-portrait. I had like a FaceTime photo shoot with my stylist friend from New York but I took a selfie, painted that and then like I reflected it sort of back into like four different shades. Description for it was on the other side of the spectrum, the idiom show your true colors holds a positive connotation as it powers being real, embracing insecurities, personality, and trust in self-identity, no matter the judgments. This self-portrait is my attempt to redefine the literal meaning of the figurative phrase as I painted a picture I took of myself in my Halloween costume in contrasting colors to show that past the front, people can look at my true colors and gain the courage to see confidence no matter what race identity religion and gender I try to make it unique because I know the idiom show your true colors okay oh my gosh she's showing her true colors meaning like they're me but then I wanted to change that and make it like more positive the next piece this is like one of my favorite experimental pieces that I did I got like a wooden frame I painted it like this like dark dark navy and then like behind I drew some veins and then I had so many like snack packages so I cut them up and then I pasted them on to like form like sort of like a body and then I thought this was super cool I got like some blue tights put it all over the frame i stretched it and then i ripped it and then i even put pins on there this is titled just enough this piece is my attempt to share my personal story of healing from the scars of being body shamed throughout my childhood Behind the body, I painted nerves out of acrylics to convey the feeling of drowning in my own securities, resorting to unhealthy eating habits to gain weight shown by the collage of snacks. I chose to rip apart tights to resemble my pain and added on pins to symbolize mending my scars by growing confidence. Then I'll move on to my Parsons project because I did my Parsons project was based on Just Enough. From what I recall, the Parsons project was you get inspired from one of your like portfolio pieces and like you create something else. This is called Lunar Essence, and then I made it out of wires, metal rings, a wooden ring, and tights. I was inspired by the tights from the previous project. This is what I wrote. When the sun sets 238, 900,000 miles above us lies an astronomical guard of the next sky. The moon running with the earth orbiting around the sun and reflecting every ray of light when it has the chance to project me with a message to fight through the pain and struggles life entails. Creating my first ever mixed media piece just enough, I collaged snack packages that derived from my bad eating habits and ripped tights over the frame to resemble my pain. Growing up with parents shamed my figure and receiving hate online from strangers who degraded my body, obliterated my self-esteem. However, I chose to not let my insecurities defeat me and instead grew to love myself and focus on mending my scars. Stepping back, I was satisfied to see the piece convey my story of overcoming the body shame I received. Through just enough, I began to recognize the importance of internal essence. Deep in thoughts, I picture the solar system, a network of planets and stars perfectly aligned for life to exist on Earth. I use three metal rings to represent different parts of life. The bicycle wheel I formed using wires stands as a base and reveals the constant cycle we feel when living life. The cycle resembles the sun just as the stars are bound to burn out. And at the center of the wheel I formed a fetus of golden wires as gold represents the spirit and essence. I chose to bring back the tights inspired by just enough with a purpose to represent how pain builds perseverance. Inspired by the moon's characteristic to shine internally, the moon was created to metaphorically represent how our past traumatic experiences help us construct a bark. Around the moon I place an orbiting compass, which is a symbolic of the freedom it provides us regarding the direction from north, south, west, and east. In other words, the compass is a representative of the endless chances life provides to make our lives meaningful. Whatever path or direction one may take, I wanted to signify how we all have the ability to use our inner essence to work towards our goals and design our purpose. To conclude, my 3D model called Lunar Essence captures the network of a figurative astronomical connection presenting to live life to its fullest. So that was my essay. They asked for like, like how we brainstormed. So like I added my journal right here, which I did on Procreate. I also did another self-portrait. This connects to a special story of my grandpa. It's supposed to be me in my hanbok. And hanbok is a traditional Korean clothing, if you guys didn't know. But I really wanted to focus this on my own culture. Something about my portfolio is that I was really inspired by the Renaissance, like that era. So this piece is called Electric Love. I did it out of acrylic and then I put like little jumper wires. I just wanted to do like this like funny thing about like, oh, like it's like no longer cupids. It's dating apps. Yeah. Another piece inspired by the Renaissance is this piece. This is like one of my favorite pieces ever because I drew my cat. This is an image of my cat and then this is the painting. But then I was also inspired by this original painting, which is from like centuries ago. And then the title of this piece is Tragedy of Tom and Jerry. And then my description was inspired by an Italian Renaissance painter named Andrea Solaria. The painting Salome with the head of St. John the Baptist reflected entities of deep emotion and bitterness. I painted my cat named Nabi as Salome, once a gruesome story of revenge. This piece is my attempt to recreate a new story with humor that does not weigh heavy on the heart to open a door for questions. 
Does this depict modern day issues of unequal distribution of wealth between classes? Or is it simply just an untold tragedy of Tom and Jerry? I want it to be funny again. I don't know if that was funny, but it's like the cat and then the mouse. Yeah. Then, this is like one of my first ever portfolio pieces that I've completed in studio. And I don't really like this piece, but I just put it in there because I just did it anyway. Whatever. I put in two fashion pieces. So this is one of my fashion illustrations that I did. I was very inspired by like the textures. I created a mood board on Procreate. These are my designs that I did. Couture pieces. Maybe I'll make it one day. And then I did a continuation of that collection that like focuses more on the shapes. This is like my favorite outfit. The one with like the blue boots. Like I'm going to make that and I'm going to wear it one day. Like I have to make it. This one is another 3D piece that I did and it's called trichotomania and if you guys didn't know trichotomania is like a mild anxiety disorder where like i get anxious and then i start like plucking the hairs of my eyebrows like, i sort of have like a bald spot because of that habit it's like a lot of symbolism in this piece this is like a watercolor piece that i did of my friend's cheese board and it's called picture perfect i said i painted my friend's chartery board i really don't know how to say it this piece is my attempt to reveal how people on social media fall under the pressure to present a perfect life instead of an authentic narrative of their true emotions me being on social media like I did fall under the pressure of like always wanting to like look a certain way and like that pressure made me uh, made me stress like I was I'm honestly still stressed like thinking about it that was my portfolio and like the art descriptions that I went with it trust me guys have confidence in your art because like I had like no confidence in my art like submitting my portfolio I don't know why like I was just I just thought I wouldn't get accepted anywhere and, and this miracle happened submit your art to the colleges you want to go to and you know Let's all become artists together. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsche, but don't be coming at me with that horse shit. Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit.